cormorants. The men, all called Huang, come from the same village. Now in their 70s and 80s, they've been fishermen all their lives. Before they release the birds, they tie a noose loosely around the neck to stop them swallowing any fish they may catch. Chanting and dancing, the Huangs encourage their birds to take the plunge. Underwater, the cormorant's hunting instinct kicks in, turning them into fish-seeking missiles. Together, a good cormorant team can catch a couple of dozen decent-sized fish in a morning. Turn to the raft with their fish because they've been trained to do so. From the time it first hatched, each of these cormorants has been reared to a life of obedience to its master. The birds are, in effect, slaves. But they're not stupid. It's said that cormorants can keep a tally of the fish they catch, at least up to seven. So unless they get a reward now and then, they simply withdraw their labor. The fishermen, of course, keep the best fish for themselves. The cormorants get the leftover tiddlers. With its collar removed, the bird can at last swallow its prize. Best of all, one it isn't meant to have. 